of students from the British School of Brussels are in Ghana to work in four rural schools during their summer holidays. It didn't take long to break the ice and the students quickly began to interact and join in with local games and traditions. Now that the students have their own charity, the best of both, it was a real chance to support them in their work at school. They spend a lot of time fundraising and raising awareness and it was, this feels like this is the reward for them to get to come to Ghana to see how their money is being spent and to see the difference that they are making. The response we got when we first came in was amazing. Like these, All these kids waving at us, 600 kids, it's, it's an incredible number in six classes so yeah, obviously they need our help as well. Yeah. And it was it was crazy. It was amazing. And all these kids, like, they come up to you, they shake your hand. And you don't see that anywhere else, really. And they say you're my friend now. You're my best friend now. It's just it's incredible. Really, I've never I've never experienced anything like this before. So it's it's overwhelming, really. So, yeah, it's amazing. We have this uh, notion of Africa, you know, it's small huts and this kind of thing, and then you come here and it's, it's pretty amazing actually. It's, just, it's urbanized and you have places like this, and it's actually much, much, much more different than what I expected, so truly good. <laughs> Helping out these rural areas is something you don't see many schools doing. I don't think you see any schools doing really. So I thought it'd be a really uh, good experience for me and learning about this new culture really, because uh, you know we're all living in the Western society and we we uh, living in this very um, closed air area and coming over here it's uh, something completely new. So it's like it's something for me and something for them really. <laughs> It's such a great honour to be able to help these kids and the previous students did such a great job before and matching their standard is going to be really hard but no, I'm really excited. It should be really good. You pick up some paper, some A3 paper, you just sit down with six or seven students, you pick up some crayons and you just start drawing and let them watch. And that's all for the first five minutes. When you finish your drawing, maybe you can point at some things and say the word. You don't have to ask them to so say tree. Show them how to do it individually. Uh, go and sit next to them. Maybe you could just hold their hand in the beginning and show them how it works and then just let them draw. Just talk to the kids, just describe things. When they pick up a crayon, you just say, oh, you picked up a green one. And you do, you, are, you, are you drawing a tree? And just, just like that, they, you don't need an answer, you just talk to them. So this is a tree. So the other ones, this is a primary two. First one is the alphabet um, uh, lesson that we're doing because that involves a lot of um, uh, well, involvement from you as well. So it'd be nice for you to get to know the students. I didn't know what to expect at first, but I think the main thing that struck me was how happy they all were. And considering the little that they have, just seeing us and doing something different, and they seemed so happy and they were just like shouting. And like a girl taught me to dance as well. They were just so lovely, like a really great thing, but a great experience. 